So one of the newest features in Cinema 4D version 15 is the new Irradiance engine, otherwise known as Global Illumination. So I've got this simple scene set up here. It's just a room with two spheres and I've got a backlight outside the window casting an area shadow. I've got a key light in this corner here and a fill light in the other corner. These are just simple omnis and the camera's facing this way. So I'm going to make sure that my render is set to physical and I'm going to turn off global illumination. I'm going to increase my sampling quality to medium. And I'm just going to render the scene with no GI at all. So this is the scene with no GI. Uh, we've got the shadow here. Um, not much light, not much color bleeding going on. So firstly, I'm going to go to my render settings and turn on global illumination here. And I'm going to turn off the secondary method. And the primary method, I'm going to choose Radiance Cache Legacy, which is the old version using uh, version 14. And I'm going to render the scene again. So that's the end result. And it looks a lot brighter compared to the original uh, with no GI. If we just compare the two, this is a new one. And this is the old one. So a definite improvement. Uh, I can't see much color bleeding going on, it looks pretty normal. So I'm going to go back to render settings and now I'm going to use the new irradiance cache method and render again. And this is a new irradiance cache result here. So I'm just going to compare it to the old one and I can definitely see some more detail in this new method. Um, there seems to be a bit more of a shadow here. This is a new version. This is the old version, if you just watch this area here. And this shadow here is definitely more prominent in the new version. So definitely a bit more detail there. And if you watch this uh, corner here, in the new version, we've got this kind of shadow, almost like ambient occlusion. And in the old version, we have nothing. So there's definitely a little bit more detail in this new version, which is great. So next I'm going to show you the new secondary method, which is called light mapping. And what this does is, uh, it basically allows us to have an insane amount of secondary bounces. So 16 bounces would have been impossible in the old version with uh, Cinema 4D version 14. But this light mapping technique um, is very efficient and you can have a very high number of bounces without uh, huge render times basically. So I'm going to render the scene again with light mapping and we've got this interesting light mapping pre-pass uh, preview so this is the light mapping result and I'm just going to compare that to the result with no light mapping so this is the old one and this is a new one so if we watch this corner it's definitely brighter so old new it's brighter old new it's definitely brightened up the floor here bit more light bouncing around basically and this red is definitely more prominent in the new version old new you can see the red uh, color bleeding a lot more prominently now another cool feature is a uh, color refinement so I'm gonna increase color refinement to hundred percent here and render again see what kind of changes this makes so this is the end result and uh, it's hard to see in this example, but what color refinement basically does is it kind of tightens up shadows. And I can't really see a huge difference between this and the old render, but um, if you're uh, experiencing kind of blurry shadows, uh, just bump up color refinement to 100% and that should sort things out. Uh, next, I'm gonna increase the maximum depth to 32. And I'm going to set the physical uh, sampling quality to high. And I'm going to set the samples to high here as well. And I'm going to render again. So uh, this is the end result with high samples, 32 bounces. I'm just going to compare this to the old version. As you can see, uh, this edge is a lot more refined in this new version. 
to be honest, the 32 bounces haven't had a, they haven't made a huge difference up from uh, 16, but uh, it's definitely a lot crisper and cleaner. So uh, another huge improvement to the global illumination engine is the fact that if you uh, create an animation now, so in the old uh, version it basically had to go through the entire animation and create a, a radiant solution for the entire animation. But in this new version you can uh, render with global illumination and it just calculates each frame on its own. So I'm just going to add some camera uh, animation to the scene. Maybe just a kind of slight rotation. Something like that. And for the sake of this animation, I'm just going to set uh, samples to low. Same here. I'm going to make the resolution quite low. Like that. And I'm going to hit render. So basically the solution is calculated for each frame instead of it running through the entire animation and then uh, starting to render. So it used to be basically very time consuming and very frustrating. But now you can use GI with animations as you please.